Luca from LucaPro.com and today I am going to do a real quick new cleaning method that I use on occasion and uh, that I really like. So I'm going to show you as quickly as I can and keep this video short. First thing I'm going to do is take the hose out. And I don't wash the hoses as you all know but I do blow the smoke out. There. Hose is clean. Okay, hose is clean. I'm going to start disassembling the hookah. I'm going to take off the relief valve, take out the grommet, take off the bowl. In this case, this is the leftover uh, pear bowl that I was using, which was really nice. But uh, we'll pretend that I'm gonna. I had another bowl on there. First thing we're gonna do, you can see this, is we're gonna take this tray off, and I'm just gonna rinse the tray out really quick. That's it for the tray. If the bowl was um, used, you would rinse the bowl out real good. Get all the shisha the tobacco out, clean on both sides, and that's how you would clean that, pretty much. Grommet, same thing, a little water to rinse it out, and the relief out and the ball, blow it out. I use a plastic BB for my, um, up close, the uh, plastic BB for the ball bearing. And that's it for that. Now I'm going to disassemble the stem. Good tight fit here, so I'm going to disassemble this stem. And I'm just going to kind of rinse it off. Clean off the two ports, the relief valve and the hose port. And I'm going to blow some. Uh, water down through it just like this kind of get it wet inside now for the cleaning brush you can see this I'm gonna put the cleaning brush inside here's the trick that I do now a little bit of beer good stuff works well for cleaning too whoops I missed a little beer in there I'm going to plug the other end with my finger. I'm just going to scrub it with the beer. One side down. I'm going to do the other side. If you want to come around to this side, it'll be a little bit easier to show from this angle. Same thing, I'm going to cup it with my hand and just kind of let the beer run down the stem. I quickly I'm going to plug the other end with my finger to hold it. Keep any beer from escaping. You'll feel the suction as you're cleaning this on your fingertip. I'm going to show you why. Why this works so well. As I pull this out, look at the brush. See all this foam on the brush? That really helps with cleaning out the hookah, and the beer is a nice um, cleaning element. So now that I've got it cleaned, I'm just going to run some water down through it, clean the hookah off, I'm going to run the water through. Cupping it with my finger, my hand, and just letting the water run out. on both sides I'm doing this and now I will do the base alright now I'm going to clean the base I'm just going to dump out the old water run some water I'm going to kind of go from a lukewarm and get a little hotter as I go so it's not to shock the base and risk uh, breaking it or cracking it. So I'm on full hot at this point. 
If you used ice cubes, make sure your vase is um, warmed up before you put any hot water in it or you're going to risk breaking the, uh, the base. So now I'm going to take the remainder of the beer that I have. Now, I love beer just as much as you. Um, don't think of it as wasting it. Think of it as using it as a cleaning element. I'm not really not using that much. If you watch, I'll hold it up here so you can see. Really not that much beer. A little bit. Maybe, maybe one sip. So, put a little hot water in there. I'm going to swish it around. Swishing it back and forth. And you can smell the beer, but once you clean this with some more hot water and get the beer out, it will smell like nothing. It'll just be, smell like water. It'll smell clean. You don't want to use soap in your base. You know, definitely don't want to use it in your stem. Just about the final rinse right here. Put it up all the way, swish it around. Let the water drain out. Now I'm going to let this dry. And if you look, I'm just going to put it over here upside down and let it kind of drip dry out. Alright, so everybody, that's how you clean your hookah the quick and easy way using a little beer. I don't do it all the time. The other videos um, that I have using the lemon juice and the baking soda are the technique that I use nine, probably, no not 90, I'd say probably 70% of the time. Um, if I'm having a couple beers while I'm smoking hookah and it's time to clean it, I'll use a little bit of the beer instead because it's just a little bit faster. It doesn't give as good of a cleaning but it gives a pretty decent cleaning. So it's empty now but Cheers, everybody. This is Sambuca from hookahpro.com. Have a good one, and I'll see you at the site. Later.